New tonight, this week, Spartanburg County Council is taking some action to eliminate blight. It's also known as eyesores, empty, condemned, or dilapidated properties. There are hundreds in the county, and a majority of them are in the Unisaxon and Arcadia neighborhoods. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris shows us how $1 million in ARP funds will kickstart the revitalization of those communities. For years, we did not have money to actually fix the problem. County it Councilman David Britt says the best way to describe blight is cancerous. It will take a body down and it can take a community down. And he says it's taken down Una, Saxton and Arcadia for years. There are dozens of blighted and condemned structures, but soon some of those will come down. We've got a hundred that we're going to go after this year in this million dollars. On average, it costs around $10,000 to demolish just one house. So the million dollars won't cover demo of the 340 condemned structures on the county's list. But it's a start. You know, out of the 340, if we knock off 100 this year, 100 next year, and then we go for 100 the following year, we got it going. That's going to change things in a, in a drastic way. Tony Thomas with the Northside Development Group knows all about removing properties like this and the difference it can make. Our community had this reputation that you, it was like a community uh, non grata. You know, it wasn't where you wanted to be. About 12 years ago, Thomas, other community advocates, and the city began to revitalize Northside and fight against gentrification. At the very beginning of this process, about 47% of the houses in the Northside community, the Cleveland Heights area, which is the most historic part of the community, were boarded up. There are not many homes boarded up anymore, but there are some under construction. Now that they've helped revitalize the neighborhood of Blight, the Northside Development Group is focused on building affordable housing opportunities. People are now starting to return back and to make this community what it should be as a community. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. Councilman Britt says from this point forward, the county will continue investing in blight demolition. So to learn more about the Northside community's transformation, we have all that information for you inside of our Fox Carolina News app. Just download it by scanning that code on your screen.